Hi Tim Crown, welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, the other day we were talking about um, Two Faced Dibia. And you know, Two Faced Dibia being a legend, I asked you guys, has Two Faced done enough to be considered a legend? Everybody was, you know, saying this. Some people said, oh, Two Faced is not a legend. This other person said, oh, Two Faced is a legend. Two Faced has done enough. You know, it has made an impact. Other people disagree that. And there's one thing I realized is that we will never stop arguing we will never stop arguing this issue about two-face uh, being a legend or not we will never stop some people even say whiskey david o are legends you know it depends on what you've done you know it's just so many opinions out there and i cannot even conclude on that so guys let's get right into today's news tim crown make we go I am again <laughs> all right let us um, start off by talking about the strike so the strike is over everyone is back to work now you know everything is going on fine the cut of the strike yesterday that's October 1st yeah there's something I saw online and I felt like I should ask you guys the team crown members <laughs> how old is Nigeria let me know in the comment section hmm. make me see people who know their country railway let me know in the comment section how old is Nigeria. I'm shocked at the answers I saw online. That's why I'm asking. Don't cheat. Don't search on Google. Just put it there. Don't cheat. Don't, don't cheat. Okay, that's the rules. Okay, I'm not with you, but don't cheat. Just put it down there. Okay, just, just think and put it down there. All right, if you're wrong, we'll see. And if you're right, we'll see. Here. Yeah. On October 1st, you could see, obviously, this is not Nigeria. Okay, you could see the white with the letters Nigeria, okay, in the club. Some people say that the white are even celebrating our independence more than the way we celebrate or appreciate our independence. But you would know that it's a guy, a Nigerian guy in the club, okay, that paid for this. <laughs> That's what I think. Money over everything. You understand what I'm trying to say? Alright? There's a picture I saw online. Benue State University male student celebrating the Independence Day. And what mo <coughs> and what most people are saying is that this looks so gay. Guys, what do you think about this picture? Does it look so gay? Like two guys naked with a Nigerian flag behind them? What is the message they're trying to pass? They're celebrating Nigeria. What is the message? I checked in the comment section and some people were like, it's some kind of art. What kind of art as in what message is this passing? That's what I don't understand. I just want you guys to see this and let me know what you think about this. Does this look gay to you? Or are they trying to pass a message, you know, about Nigeria to everybody? Or is just them being dumb? Let us talk in the comment section. And here we have Waji's daughter. Waji's daughter looks so beautiful. Seriously, she should be 19 or 20 years old now. But the picture I am seeing in front of me right now looks turning. Okay? <laughs> she looks turning. Here we have Omawumi. Omawumi said, What I learned in marriage and being a mother she has this chart with showtime and Oma Umi reviewed what mother would have taught her she said marriage and mother would have taught me to be extremely patient it has taught me to always understand that everybody has their side to a story it has also taught me to be very understanding towards everybody apart from that she shared the, the story about the motherhood how it has impacted her life you know putting her music career into consideration um she said yes of course it has really helped and influenced or rather shaped my music and way i put music out right now of course one has to be extra careful because you don't want to pass the wrong message motherhood has been a blessing to my music it has been a blessing to me it has been a blessing to everything surrounding me that's beautiful okay that's cool to say that's nice but i seriously Motherhood can slow down your music career, okay? As, except you are strong enough to bounce back 
okay because you want to watch your language you would want to, some of the things that you do you know the the dresses you put on why shooting a video it depends on the kind of mother it depends on the kind of um, mother that you want to be seriously after she got married she became a mother you know or she got married officially i would just say um a music career dropped okay the the level dropped, everything dropped. But if you look at Tiwa Savage, because Tiwa Savage still keep doing what she's doing, irrespective of, of that, okay, the motherhood thing, irrespective of that, she still keep doing what you're doing. You see, she's at the top because she didn't stop dressing the way she dresses. She didn't stop, you know, saying the words, um, using using the words, okay, that she was using even before she became a mother. So it depends on the person. It's, it's a great thing to be a parent, it's a great thing, a beautiful thing to be a parent. But when you want to be the good parent, sometimes it affects, most especially music. I don't, I don't know about other careers. I mean, when it comes to music and entertainment, I've noticed something that it affects a career. So sometimes when it affects their career, they don't want to discourage people. They will just let you understand that, oh, you know, it's great. You know, it is, um, it is this, it is that. But I'm just, you know, stating the fact. You know but just let me know your opinion the last time i asked this question a lot of people are saying two-faced and it's the only two faces that they could mention okay it's only two faces that could mention that i could be convinced that yes it's actually true the rest no i wasn't convinced okay guys so that's it about our mom and me um here we have linda ikeji's sister sandra ikeji sandra ikeji said the joy in my heart is flowing like a river but the devil is trying to snatch it please say a little prayer for me guys happy sunday um who's trying to snatch the this lady's <laughs> happiness what is going on something obviously is going on with sandra ikeji but i will advise sandra ikeji that uh, come on girl you have to pray for yourself okay don't expect people online or instagram to pray for you but i'm sure you know that um, your family and you are the best when it comes to things like this because trust me most people don't care um when i check out the comment section it's just like we have our own problem now why would you be telling us to pray for you why would you be, why can't you go to your church why can't you do this why can't you do that that is internet that is people for you well guys um let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and when i say let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i reply to comments i read comments i like some comments okay because i can't reply every everyone some people okay i think it's few of them because i have replied a lot there was a day i replied like all the comments and this still someone still came out to say you know you didn't reply my comment i can't do everything i can't reply all the comments please guys but you still need to comment okay i still go through it and some of them i repost in my story on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram you can go follow me you can see your comment there those that that might not reply I just screenshot it and post it on my instagram just saying okay i'm here linda ikeji says i like it when people talk about me good or bad um i'm very sure okay no doubt like linda ikeji i watched this lady's video <laughs> came alone lawyer's video which i i love to call linda ikeji's nemesis that's how i, I like to describe her but anyway linda ikeji said she's not bothered by the negative comment not just came alone lawyer other people okay they have like a lot of things to say about linda ikeji they've been saying it they've been screaming online and shut her up anytime she tried to make sense okay well according to linda ikeji it's bad when people do not talk about you that it shows that you are not relevant and you should be worried if you, people don't talk about you that's what linda ikeji is trying to say um she said that relevant for the last 10 years hopefully will be for the next 40 years there's no stopping this woman you know she's talking to herself she said when people throw me and say all kind of things my friends worry and call me asking how i'm dealing with it and i tell them the same thing all the time start getting worried when people stop talking about me it means at that time that i'm no longer relevant and what i do or say no longer matters that would be a tragedy lol i'm an internet business woman every dime i make is from the internet every impact i make is mostly on the internet so i need people to keep talking good or bad it's okay as long as they are talking um that is linda ikeji do you believe that any publicity at all is good publicity 
let us talk in the comment section i'm gonna take a comment here someone says every dime you make is from which internet small girl with big rod stop deceiving yourself now we know how you made your money through blogging you were actually busy blackmailing people and going around covering up with blogging well that is it about the cage and here we have damn lola adegbite this lady that starred in tinsel uh, in case you don't know that's one of my favorite programs i've been watching that program for like four or five years now <laughs> and i'm still watching it well that aside chris arthur and damnola did beat her they married they were married okay and later they, they they got divorced now she said here yeah, according to um punch punch quoted her saying that she may write a book about her crashed marriage to chris arthur that's what punch said a, a a news outlet that is meant to be reputable i keep complaining about punch newspaper putting words in celebrities mouth and saying things that celebrity didn't say okay claiming to have interviewed them but give us um another story online here them dollar did bitte you know though granted punch the interview but punch reported wrong news about her and i i, I don't understand I don't understand why Punch, why you're doing this. Bissell have complained about this. Punch reporting negative, Punch reporting the opposite about what she said. You know, about Bibi Niger. And David Unaji as well said that Punch reported the wrong story about him. Well, here, Damlo Lag David said, it's quite funny. She was asked if she was willing to give marriage another try. Um, she said, of course, why not? I never say never. This time, I will be looking out for a man. He has to be a man in the real sense of the word. I don't try to foresee things as I prefer to live in the moment. I learned a lot from my past experience in marriage and I may have to write a book about it. Now, here is Damlola Adibite's reaction to that. She says, Thanking God for the peace I have found. Nothing and no one can rock my boat anymore. Punch a newspaper and at any other journalist or bloggers who take advantage of celebrities granting them interviews in the hope of promoting their craft. Yet you turn it around and slather them. You add information as you please. Continue writing lies. It doesn't face me. God be with you. I never chop finish. Now book I won't write. <laughs> Not the only book. Now DVD. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. I like that right up. Okay, damn lot. Thumbs up. Moving on to the next news. We have the American rapper Wale, Nigerian American. Is that is that right? Anyway, uh, Wale is a Nigerian in America. Okay, you can call him American rapper because he's part. He's already part of them, but you just love to be recognized as a Nigerian. Actually, he's a Nigerian. Here he said Olamide is very talented, that he look up to Olamide um, in his words. Olamide is one of the fastest workers and one of the most dynamic writers I know in my genre. He is very, very talented. I look up to him a lot in that sense. Olamide is a hard worker. Everyone, everyone knows that. But for him to say he look up to Olamide, it shows that he respects Olamide so much okay um most people would get this wrong um they would think that you know he's literally saying he look up to olamide um what he's trying to say is he, he doesn't know how to show his respect that is just a perfect way to show you the height of how much he respects olamide for working so hard you know for himself as a rapper there's a way of encouraging olamide as well that man you've really done well person we work must chop not only chop he must get accolades now, Abby. Moving on to the me to the next news, not next, <laughs> not mixing news. <laughs> Moving on to the next news. Tokema Kinwa gift herself the latest iPhone, and everyone is screaming. <laughs> you guys noticed anything that concerns Tokema Kinwa? Either getting a house, getting the getting a car, getting a new phone, getting designer bag. The first thing that people say or that comes to the minds of a lot of people is small girl big god she's receiving rod she's receiving big d if you if you know what i mean she's um she's a low show she's prostitute how come she got that much money um i don't know um 
I still, you know, think that we should just, you know, take it down a notch the way we react to this lady's story. Um, because uh, no doubt about that, some of them have, you know, worked hard to get to the point where they are. She has a bag. She She's tried out, you know, businesses that I think that only someone that was wise and a go-getter would do. Okay, even though, you know, you think that there's a, a man somewhere that's pumping money into her life, but she's also wise, you know, enough to, you know, be creative. And that is one thing that is so, so cool when a lady is is creative. So, um, so that is Toke Makimade. But guys, let me know your take in the comment section. Okay, like I said, I go through all these comments, all right? Um, and she says here, yeah, let's see what the hype is about. Someone says here, when you truly rich, you don't post about these kind of things because they ain't special event. Are you saying that aged Ikoi Bologna's children came out publicly to disgrace their own father for no reason at all? Before coming out, they must have exhausted all other underground means of preventing their father wasting away his hard-earned money on a lazy, shiftless, holoshoic, gold-digging, feministic hypocritical used and jilted evening newspaper <laughs> god don't worry i know your type well this person is reacting to someone who is a supporter okay we're supporting toke makinwa he's talking about fadi um there's a billionaire that's called fadi toke makinwa was linked to this man at one point when the kids came out okay saying that toke makinwa should leave their dad alone